guys, thank you so much for sending in all your questions. I haven't done a QA and a in a really long time, so I'm super excited to go through them. Had a bunch of questions. Tried to filter through them so that we weren't getting a million of the same questions. There's um, some have been removed because they were double ups and I tried to give as much variety as possible, but there's a lot to go through, so let's get started. When did you start your YouTube channel? I started my YouTube channel mid 2017, just before Girls came out. Do you plan to release a full album? Yes, I do plan to release a full album. Just don't ask when. How do you come up with your awesome outfits? Well, thank you. And I really like witch style and punk aesthetic. And I just guess I try to blend the two. How tall are you? I think I'm five foot seven. I don't really understand how feet and inches work. Which song have you made so far that you like the most? I couldn't pick one song. That would be like asking a mom to pick her favorite child. Do you have pets? I have a cat called Puddy. He lives with my dad in Australia now. And I love cats. What is your thing? When you were a kid, some people had stuffed animals and others had certain toys. What was yours? Um, I think that my thing was always making things. I seemed to be making stuff all the time, like craft and art and stuff like that. And I'm still doing that stuff because I love it. So I guess that was and is my thing. Was I scared slash anxious when I begun my singing career? I think that there were times that I was feeling scared and anxious. I, I still do sometimes. Um, there's a lot of stuff that goes on in my head. So it's pretty hectic. Are you planning any tours around the world? I got so many questions on touring. I am, I want to, I really do. When the time is right, I will be there and I will get to meet all of you and I can't wait. Is Aviva my stage name? And if so, why did I choose this name? Aviva is my stage name. Aviva is also my real name and I didn't choose it. My parents chose it um, for me when I was born because it's the name I was born with. It's my real name, Aviva. Is there a name for your fans? Yes, my fans call themselves the Outsiders or Aviva's Outsiders because we are all outsiders and it also ties in with Selfless, which is my book, which will be out shortly. What got me into music in the first place? I have been doing music my whole life. My dad's a musician and my uncles are all musicians. So I think I just grew up in a musical family and it was inevitable. I started playing violin when I was four in kindergarten, so yeah just always been doing music. I have a question. Would you choose your fans over your fame and money or do you value fame and money more? I think that I always value people over fame or money. People come first every time. Do I speak Spanish? No. What is my favorite artist? Who is my favorite artist? Uh, my favorite band of all time is The Smiths, but I think that Lana Del Rey has to have an honorable mention because I love her too. Will I ever make any music videos? I will and I'm really excited because I'm working on some at the moment and I can't wait for you to see them when the new songs come out. Do I have any tattoos and if no, will I? Possibly, I don't at the moment. I would like to. There are these tattooists called Black Bell Tattoos. They're from Salem, Massachusetts and I love their tattoo work and I would love to get an arm done. How do you come up with your amazing songs? My favorite song is Hush and Rabbit Hole. Thank you. I guess some of the inspiration comes from the world of my book and some of the inspiration comes from my life and some of it just comes from the people around me, including my fans. And when you guys share your experiences, it helps me see that I'm not alone and I wasn't alone in how I felt about things. So I think that we all help shape the music that we hear by everybody. What is my zodiac sign? I am a Taurus. What is my favorite anime? Uh, as far as films go, Studio Ghibli films, Howl's Moving Castle is in my top three favorite movies of all time. Um, and as far as TV shows go, I really like Cowboy Bebop. Um, the soundtrack is what makes that for me. As a child, did I imagine I would become a famous singer? No, I imagined that I was a famous singer, but I didn't imagine that it could become a reality, although I don't know how famous I am. When's my birthday? My birthday is on the 6th of May, hence Taurus. What message are you trying to send out to your fans through your songs? For example, Blackout Lemon on the Kids and Rabbit Hole. 
I think that the biggest message that I'm trying to send out to my fans is to just be yourself and to not worry what other people think and wear the clothes that you feel comfortable in and listen to the music that you like and watch the anime you like and play whatever games they are or do your hobbies and just continuing to do what you need to do to feel like you're being yourself rather than what people think that you should do. What was your dream job? And if you could have any other job, what would it be other than a singer? I think that my dream job was always to be a performer and I am so lucky that I am living that dream and I can't wait to keep going further with it because I also love acting and all that stuff. And I think that if I was gonna have a completely different kind of job, I would like to have a independent bookshop in a country town or something like that. I think that would be fun. Do you like art or drawing and stuff like that? And what do you do for your own entertainment? I, like I said before, I do love art and drawing and craft and I sew and I used to make all my own clothes and I make notebooks and journals. I shared one on my um, story the other day, I think. And I really enjoy making things, doing things with my hands. What's one country you've never been to that you want to see? Morocco, because I think it looks beautiful and would have amazing colors and smells and food.